Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be making kind of a little random video here even though it's a Monday but um, I have been filming a feature film here this last week almost 14 days and I am totally busted all kind of crazy stuff we've made flipped the car upside down had a police car around and guns and police and weird stuff but here in Denmark it's record hot right now uh, well maybe not record record but it's really hot here's my thermometer and if we check it out it will say that it's uh, 29.2 degrees right now which is a lot everything over 25 and we're melting up here we're not used to this heat so i thought that i would be talking about cooling the data center because that's a real problem right now uh, well it's actually not but it could be <laughs> so um, newer hardware that you get is usually rated for higher temperature so if you get a brand new server it's uh, it's normal that this server will be able to operate in like 40 degrees celsius we always deal in celsius up here and um, yeah so 30 degrees is not really a problem but there is always some kind of equipment in the data center that is pulling that down if you have batteries they don't like that high temperature they like 20 25 degrees so your batteries likes it cooler than the servers so let's see how i cool my data center and if we go into the data center turn on the lights we will see that um, I am still rather organized in here because I haven't had a lot of time to make a mess yet I am actually using more servers than normal because I'm still doing folding at home and trying to keep up with most of you guys I've already had my ass beaten severely uh, but this one is doing folding this one is doing folding this one is uh, my everyday server and is also doing folding and then this one is doing folding so and we have a UPS and we have this Synology storage box up here that's about what's running on the back there is a couple of switches but to keep this cool I am um, well all of this equipment all professional high-end equipment rack mountable it sucks in air on the front and it uh, cools the server and it blows it out on the back so that's why I have uh, separation here I have some foam that I put in here my little doorway to the back of the racks so that the hot air that is blown out on the back of the racks don't just go around and goes into the server again and then it will run away from me but down here on the floor I have an air intake there and there's a big fan blower on the other side of that and we're gonna go check that out here that is and this is the shadow side of the house south is is like that away so that's where the sun is and then we have this little thinky here in the wall where the sun never comes maybe some weird day in winter but normally this is the back of the house and it's nice and cool right now the sun is actually coming from up there so what this is the shadow side I have a lot of junk sanding around there i should really sort that but never know when you need a good iron pipe um, so big fan blowing in air this way and the theory is that it's way cheaper to move air than to cool air so back here it's it's nice and cool it's um well it, it's i don't know how hot it is let's check out how hot it is back here and to do that we have this um check out how hot it is device uh we can just check it so the towels out here on the walkway 32 degrees <laughs> that's actually warm so let's go in here and check let's just check the wall here so it's actually 30.2 degrees celsius can we see that in fahrenheit 
<laughs> yeah, okay, it's 86.3 Fahrenheit. So, and the ground down here. So, okay, 24 degrees, 25 degrees there. So it's. It might have heated up. Ah, I don't know if it's. It's cooler near the ground. I should probably, well, if I turn it around, it will suck up all the dirt. I don't really want that. Um, I usually have a filter on it, but even though I built a nice big filter for it, um, the filter is in this heat. It's too much of an obstacle. And this morning I, um, I decided to. Um, it was broken, so I glued it back together. So it's actually sitting over here. And this mess of good stuff over here so I have a box on it to help glue it together uh, uh, the top section here was had fallen apart so um, well this um, these are vacuum cleaner filters and I have made some holes in them so to to have a bigger filter area on them um, it does work but as um, I said it, it's still an obstacle and when it's this hot uh, you benefit from just getting a lot of air through and we get that without the filter so that's nice um, so right now I don't need the heat anywhere because uh, it's warm enough as it is um, I had my ceiling done out here uh, I had, um, spots put in and stuff and insulated and good stuff but normally there is a pipe that goes from here across the room and over here and into the house because the the back of the servers are nice and warm and as that electricity has already been paid for once I might as well use the heat that is coming out of there so um, well data center kind of acts like in, the, in winter a, an electric heater so I get computing power out of it and heat okay so we are in the data center let's just check the temperature that is coming in so I'm, I'm gathering that the, the temperature on the pipe is probably about the same as the air coming in so that's uh, 28.2 degrees air coming in and that goes up here and it, it goes up here watch the server and if we take a server and measure the temperature on the server that is 33.34 35 uh, let's see that is 95 degrees uh, temperature right here let's go to the top and see how hot it is up there it's 94 that's 34.5 degrees so a bit hot anything else we can try that one 31.6 so uh, yeah that's the that's the temperature on this side of the data center oh let's, let's see the temperature coming out We have 35, 36 degrees. It's a refractive material, so it might be a bit here. But yeah, you get the idea. It's a bit warmer. So I did a nice video a couple of years ago where I calculated um, air condition uh, versus just moving the, the heat away. I would highly recommend you to see that. Um, air conditioning just... It's actually too expensive for what I'm doing here. It's way cheaper to just move the heat away. And in autumn, winter and spring, most of the time the heat is actually nice to have to put in the house so that I can um, save on my <laughs> heating bill. Um, I'm doing something weird down here. I have done that before, but I have this thing and I've made a, a pool for myself. It was gonna be a fish tank, but uh, well, I'll put some water in it and then and top and I'm filling it up with water from the from the basement and I have a 
have a pump here where it can can circulate the pump from the 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 swimming pool as I call it up through the pump and there's a filter there that filters there all the the dirt the the flies that decides to try to swim it there's a stupid one right there it's gonna be why did it have to drown itself in my swimming pool mm. so yeah I've been messing with that today uh, just because it's too hot to do anything else <sighs> for me anyway we're not used to this heat did I mention that and it has just been ridiculous there is one good thing though I'm on vacation uh, I have my holiday now uh, first week I was doing filming these next two weeks I'm not doing any well kind of doing something because uh, yeah let's go around the bag and I'll show you what I have um, <coughs> purchased for a bloody fortune but I needed it it's a good investment so it's gonna be an all-around video this one so um, back here on the back of the house I have some windows and a door and it's sitting right here I purchased for about 24,000 Danish kronos new windows new windows and doors and there's uh, three big ones here and they're gonna be going up here there's this section of the house where it's an old shop and this one is well single glass single pane of glass window single pane of glass door and the other section as well could probably just check that there so i have the materials to replace this i have a bit of a problem though um, these are three layers of glass and they are heavy we were three men carrying these off the trailer to get them there <sighs> yeah I don't know how I'm gonna manage that but I'm gonna give it a good try then I have two other windows um, one of them well these are actually alike I found two windows in the house that are alike that's um, that's a new one but one of them is for right there and the other one is actually right there someone has spit on my window but yeah that is gonna be replaced and that is gonna be replaced so yeah I am sure that this winter I'm gonna be able to warm my house with two candles probably not but I like the idea of that so also I have the idea that I want some more solar panels so I bought some materials to put solar panels up here on that roof up there it's uh, it's kind of sticking up over there it's some metal bits I haven't bought the solar panels but I bought all the materials to mount the solar panels so, yeah that's that's a thing yeah this was very much a total random video just um, because I uh, haven't been feeling like doing any server related stuff in this heat so I hope you will bear with me it's August I'm on vacation and last year I just took the month off this year you're still getting some kind of a video so um, this is actually pretty close to what my patrons get every week uh, this one is a bit longer though I will still give them a video here in just a little bit I am not cheating my patrons even if I am a bit busted smashed after 18 hour days uh, making a feature film so if these videos are in any way interesting for you uh, please go check out my patreon page uh, links are always in the description below and thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye